Okay, so doing this is actually a little bit annoying. But basically how... Here's how we do it. So first of all, begin by creating your token actor. Doesn't matter. No template. Now, you see this little page here? Do whatever name you want, it doesn't matter. That's your HP, your power, no matter. For attributes or whatever you're going to use in your PDF... Click on the attributes here, and not had an attribute group, but let's say we wanted to have like a, a distributed mod or something. So just press this, attribute key, I'm just gonna call it dash underscore mod. I'll just give it a value of 2, uh, I don't need a label, it's a number. Great, awesome. Now, I'm gonna need a sheet. Now, I don't have one right now. But I'm not going to use Foundry, so I'm going to do that right away. Save. Now, cool. Usually, you would then go here. You would create your PDF. But before you do this, and this is crucial, go to Inspect Data because we're going to have to modify the PDFs. You have no choice. You have no choice if you want to use the attributes and modify the attributes using the PDF. You have to. So, for my Dex modifier here, I need this info here. The path. I know this is the two for the dex, dex mod. So. Da -da 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 attributes dot, uh, dot dex underscore mod or whatever. Just copy that with the little icon here. Then go to your PDF editor of choice. It doesn't matter. I'm just using PDF escape right now. It's free. It's online. It's, it's quick enough. So. I already. This is already a fillable uh, sheet. So I can just modify things as I go. Dex modifier. It's technically locked, but I can just unlock it, which is now cool. Now what you have to do is go into, into the, the field object properties. In the name that's there, it needs to be the exact same name as the data you want to use. So in my case, uh, data.attributes.dex underscore mod dot value. Also, make sure it's not on the read only, otherwise the player is not going to be able to modify it. Press OK. Okay. And now I'm going to just save and download it. Oh, I'll put it just, I don't know, if it, do, it doesn't matter. I'm going to go back in Foundry. I can close this. And now I'm going to create my PDF. Desk, browse, choose the file, to I'll select it. Make it a form fillable actor sheet. Doesn't matter. Close all that. Now select your PDF. It's test. Now you see, I never filled this. This is already at two now. Right? Inspect data. Next. Mod value of two. Put that to the side. Put it a tree. Refresh. It's a tree now. Now that means that if your player wants to use that mod, they would do something like this. Now you would think you would have to do something like this. Plus, if you want to use an attribute, uh, the before you put in its name, you have to use a uh, uh, um, uh, a hat symbol. I forgot the actual name. The hat commercial, whatever. Now what I thought at first was I would have to like do this. That clearly doesn't work. Okay, okay, maybe you just went out of the data. No, no, no. It's actually the exact same. If you go back to the old uh, sheet. See, this is modified as well. What you actually want is the literal attribute key you used. So, our only one plus at the next slash mod underscore. And for some reason, it didn't work. Did I fuck something up? It was working earlier. <laughs> what the hap What happened? What changed? Because it's supposed. Oh, that's weird. Like, you see this score here? That was working. That's when I did it earlier. Why is it not working so long? Is it because the sheet, the sheet is closed? Huh? Oh, 
Oh, I know why. I think I know why. I don't have an actor on the map. You need a token. You must have a token. You also, I think... Actually, I'm going to try it before doing that. Let's just try it again. There we go. It works. You see my plus three, and now if I modify it again in the sheet. Five. Stop trying with. Please stop that. Thank you. you do it again. Now it's plus five. There's 25. And so on. So it's not that complicated, but here's the thing. Uh, you need to do this for every single one you do. Every single one. And also for every single token you're gonna make, you're gonna have to make those attributes. You're gonna have to make those attributes. No choice. So there you go. That's how you do it. Without like creating a new module or whatever else. 